Hello everybody, I'm TG and welcome back to this tutorial series and in today's episode I'm gonna explain something about config files. To get started you need to create a simple plugin with a player join event in a separate class and from now on we're not gonna call the main class main anymore we're gonna call it the plugin title since if you have multiple plugins and they have all class named main it's hard to debug your code so let's just do that from now on and then the plugin the yml will look a bit different uh like this so name and name over there and today we're going to work on config files like and a config file is like a easy way to save data it's it looks quite similar to your plugin the yml but instead you can store custom data inside the config yml and now we can only store name main version this is like the config file for your server. Now we're gonna create a config file for your plugin. So inside the unenable event, uh, we're gonna uh, get the plugin, the config, so get config. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to options. Uh, that's like all the options you can see over here, configuration, copy defaults. And what you want is you want to have copy defaults set to true. Uh, why? Uh, since the, the the config that you get is, is renewed every time you start up your plugin and you want to copy the defaults because you want to keep the same thing if you do not want to copy your defaults like in here the the if I use this as config.yml the default will be name main version author commands and you can add defaults later on but you want to set this to true uh, the next thing you want to do is because uh, now we only have our uh, config file over here uh, We want to save the config Towards a uh, we want to save the config so that it's actually a hard copy on the in within the server map um, But now we want to go to player join because we want to get the config on the event when the player joins but we do not have any we cannot do cat config over here because this is not a main folder, it will re uh, return error. Uh, it does not know what happened. So we first need to have an, uh, a reference to our main uh, to our main uh, class. To do this, you need to create a main class, of course. Like we create a variable of the type config file, and we call that plugin. And then we need to construct that. So public. Uh, player join because we need to edit player join and that's config file instance so we get the instance of the config file because now it's just a new it's not this one it's just a copy of that one and we want to get this one not to copy and then what we do is uh, plugin plugin equals instance like that so now we have a reference over here for the config file, but we do not pass uh, that yet inside uh, the the manager and the registry fence. So what we have to do is we have to cast, we have to send this. We have to give that as an argument inside the creation of the class, since that's now how this works. So the class changed. You need to give it a uh, configuration like that. If we save, we get we get rid of all the errors. Okay, next thing we want to do is we want to add like a point towards the player because we want to know how many times a player joined. So um, let's just uh, real th uh, quickly take a look at the plugin that YML. Uh, as you can see, there's like a key, so there's like a, a label and a value. So we can uh, give the, the 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 player we can give it a name and a value. So what we want to do is, uh, you can either use the UU ID, but we want to use the player name. So we get a string uh, player name equals p dot get name, just like that. So. so now we get the player name, and what we want to do is we want to create like a new line. So we get the config config. And we set, so it's the top one, 
and the first argument is gonna take the the name the key so the the path towards your variable if towards your variable and that's gonna be player name for now just easy and this one is gonna be a bit difficult because uh, what we want to do is we want to get how many times the player has already joined so let's just call this joint for now uh, since we do not have joint, joint is just not a thing we want to get an int called joint which equals um, yeah which equals how many times the player joined so we want to get the config again get config hope this is all clear get config and we want to get an int just like that with from the path player name yeah and what we now want to do is we want to uh, I mean int I mean int with a small letter not a capital int joint so we now know uh, how much uh, the play how many times the player has joined and then we set the player name uh, path to how much the player has joined but if the player did not join yet there's no config file over here so what we want to do is we want to create a player event so if wait let me do that below player so we get the player if as I already showed you has played before then we're gonna execute uh, then we are not gonna execute this so you need to reverse it with an exclamation mark just like that and then we're gonna create the section so plugin dot get config and now we want to set the player name so pedo get name pedo get name towards zero because towards one no zero zero why zero because beneath here because uh, we're gonna add one over here so because we want to set it towards plus one we do this control save and what we now have is we have created a uh, new path over here a new uh, header or not the header but I mean a new section kind of and we uh, set the player name so we get uh, path is the player name you can use the UUID for it as well it's more unique but I just for simplicity I need to have the name over here and we're gonna set to value of zero and we're gonna get the player name and we're gonna get the int over here and we're gonna add one to it and as I already said you need to save it so save so we get the plugin dot save config like that and that's it for the for the coding part we now have created a uh, a save the uh, save file to track how many times the player has joined but what if the this goes wrong like it does not save correctly you can also make sure so if we add another public void on disable over here then we can also do save config so if somebody shuts the server down or uh, shuts this plugin down it saves as well because if you refresh this can get lost and that's it uh, for the coding part we're gonna check it out on the server in just a sec see you over there so we're inside minecraft now I've started up the server and I've already joined a couple of times like once or something like that so we're gonna join once more and welcome to my server we're gonna take a look at the config file since I already joined once now the config file can be found underneath in inside your plugins folder and then the name of your plugin config file and you get config.yml yes I want to reload and as you can see I've already joined two times yeah that's it you can track like a um, whole different things you can use other event handlers than the on player join you can store like money you can store every kind of thing and next Monday I'm gonna explain a little bit more about how to get the layers like if I now add money it's gonna be on the same layer and what you want is you want to get it just a little beneath that it's inside 
like the player the player in path and we're going to talk about that next monday so stay tuned and if you enjoyed leave a like if you want to see more subscribe uh, if you have got any suggestions or feedback comments or discord in the description and that's it for today's video hope you enjoyed